Hi, you guys, it's Amy Gretchen. Welcome back to another Project Life Process video. In this video, I'll be working with um, week 45. And um, I, I did this right after I did week 44. So I've got some of the same supplies and cards out and I'll be using those. This stamp set that I'm using was the Studio Calico set and um, one little bird set that came together and I am um, doing a whole bunch of stamping because I know I definitely need three and I'm thinking that I'll use a few more um, on top of the photos. Right now what I'm doing is I'm writing down the costume that my daughter wore so I put the zombie, the baby, and uh, the giraffe and that's what I did last year and I really like the way that it worked out so I just decided to go ahead and do it again. I always think it's fun to uh, tackle the week of Halloween. So because I worked on week 44 and week 45 at the exact same time, I can't, something weird happened when it came to my photos. I think I ended up printing off a bunch of photos and then they got mixed up. And so week 44 is totally fine. But what I've realized and partway through partway through this layout, I kept thinking, why don't I have more photos? So I went back and looked and I actually did have some uh, that I could print off. So I went ahead and did that. But there's actually the photo of my daughter and that boy from the school dance. That's actually from week 44, but I just decided to go ahead and leave it. It's not that big of a deal that it's not on the exact day. So um, what you saw me do a little bit earlier is I stuck down the photo and the um, three by four card that was from Studio Calico that says, let them be little onto the card that was in the back of it just to keep them in place, especially with it being the top, they can slip out very easily. So I wanted to let you know that that bag right there, I got that at Target and these rub-ons I got at Target. And let me just tell you, this was a massive, massive fail. And you will see, I got these at the dollar spot. I got them probably three weeks before Halloween. And I was really excited to have seen it. I thought, oh, I'll use this on my Project Life spread for that week. And as you can see, I'm rubbing on and rubbing on and rubbing on and it is just not rubbing off. Now, I was thinking it's because that bag, it's a glassing bag and so it's very slippery, but I thought, you know what, I will use the card, I'll put it on the card stock and then I'll just make a uh, three by four card out of it or something like that. So I was testing it and you'll see here that it is not, for whatever reason, it is not slipping or it's not getting onto the paper. It's not sticking onto the paper. And I was really, really frustrated with that. So anyway, my idea here was to add in a few extra photos that I had from Halloween and then maybe do a little bit of journaling. But um, at some point, I realized that I do have a few other photos that I can add. And so I end up doing the journaling just right on a three by four card. So now I'm looking for um, something that I want to use for the title page. And I definitely want something that's, I'm going to the everyday kit because she has a lot more blacks and whites. And um, I'm also trying to figure out, I have like, as you can see, I have three empty three by four spots. So the bag, I use the bag and then I have two others and I don't normally have that. So I was like, what, what am I going to do here? So I'm um, trying to figure that out as I'm uh, working on my title page. What I end up doing is using my date stamp and then just stamping it over and over. I thought, especially for Halloween, it would be fun to have it be just a little bit messy. And I'm trying to decide if I want to add that boo there. And I decide to, I ultimately decide to put it somewhere else. And you'll see that that ends up getting messed around a lot. In fact, I actually like it on the card the way that it was with those lines, but I really wanted to use the other side. so. I opted um, against that as well. 
Okay, so it looks like I am going to try and figure out some three by four cards here. And I'm going through my stash again from the Midnight Edition. That was Liz Tamanaha. And I'm just pulling out some of her cards. And um, I definitely want something a little bit more black and white. I'm, I'm thinking Halloween here. So I'm just going to lay that aside for now. That that will definitely change by the end now I am moving my attention to the upper right hand corner, that four by six card. And I pulled out these great stamps that I got from Studio Calico just recently. And there's actually not a name on there, but you can get an idea of what the stamp looks like. And then um, I will definitely put a link in the description below if you're interested. It's uh, it's like a six by eight stamp. So these stamps are quite big and I was kind of excited to use them because I want to do a little bit of water coloring in there. So I've used a four by six water. I'm using watercolor. I think it's a Strathmore watercolor paper and I just cut it to the four by six size. And um, I was lucky. I didn't measure this at all, but they actually fit almost uh, perfectly all the way across. And my idea for this is... So Halloween was Monday and it was the very last day. So I had, let's see, the first, second, third, and fourth. And I actually went on vacation on the 5th. So I'm only, gonna, I'm only going to the 4th of November on this layout. So I'll have everything that I had for Amsterdam in the next week. So I just, I'm, what I'm doing in this card is I'm making a gratitude card and I'm writing down those four things uh, from, from, you know, the first, second, third, and fourth, and you'll see kind of how I section it off. But right now I'm just using some uh, watercolors that I got from Michaels. I just recently got these from Michaels um, and I was there getting some like jewelry stuff for my one of my daughters and I just randomly saw it and I'm like, everyone has this and I, um, was able to use the coupon because what I wanted to get was actually on sale. So it was kind of perfect. So it was even less than $5, even though $5 is a really great deal for this. Um, but they are, they are cheap watercolors, which is fine. I'm not a watercolor artist. You can see that I'm just using it to, um, color in some of these lines and I don't want to use, I'm, I'm not wanting to color it all in, so I'm just trying to figure out, um, you know, how I want to color in each letter. And I'm doing some of the edges are a little bit darker than others. And you'll see that I, at some point, have to go back in and do a little bit more um, to add more color because as watercolor dries, if you aren't as familiar with watercolor, it definitely lightens up a bit. So. Um, I'm going to my Instagram account right now and I'm looking through the things that um, I wrote down on my Instagram that I was grateful for and then I'm pulling over my ruler because I want to um, section it off and I don't know what I was thinking. I've, I added this really large gap to the bottom. Like I, I think in my mind I was thinking that I was going to write in my journaling right under gratitude and for whatever reason, I ended up not doing that. So you'll see how I remedy that in just a minute. But I'm just going to go ahead and write in um, basically exactly what I said on Instagram. I was able to easily fit it all in and I'm using the date stamp and I'm not worrying about, I think... Um, at this point I was like, wait a minute, what about this photo? And what about this photo? And what about this? Like, I was surprised by all those photos that I actually didn't get in the layout. And one of, one of them from the first, I think it was probably the last day of my daughter I actually had printed out and I don't, I think it got lost in my desk somewhere, but I decided not to worry about it. I've have lots of pictures of her doing homework and being busy. So I decided to just let that lie. Um, one thing that I am a little bummed with what I, you know, having done this on watercolor paper, watercolor paper, in hindsight, I probably wouldn't have. I didn't use that much water. It would have totally been fine on a piece of cardstock. But I wrecked my pen. Like the 
the way the paper soaked up the ink was really bad. It actually, I don't know if you can tell very well. I'm having a hard time seeing it, but it looks actually really bad. So I wish I hadn't done that because my, like the felt or whatever is the pen is made out of, it's destroyed. So um, yeah, I'm really, really bummed about that. So um, anyway, just keep that in mind if you're wanting to write on watercolor paper. It's not a good idea unless you maybe have like a brush pen or something. So this is what I was telling you about that I ended up um, doing to remedy that space because I, I was thinking of doing maybe washi tape or something, but I just went ahead and put November because this was the start of my gratitude. And I'm not sure if I'm going to add this every week because I do have it on Instagram and I make those chat books, if you saw that video. Um, so I'll definitely have it documented. So I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do with you know with the rest of this gratitude. And then you can see that I'm um, just going in and adding a little bit more color like I said that I was going to just to make it a little bit um, a little bit darker. I also went and grabbed some of those black stars. I knew that I had some some black stars and, and added that right to the title page. So I think at this point, this is where I decide, um, well, I think I'm just gonna keep messing around with those three by four cards, but um, I decide to use the back of that card and I'm gonna write my journaling for Halloween. I wasn't actually going to do that, but I thought, you know, it was significant enough that Megan had some friends over for pizza and, you know, the girls that how busy they were and that Adam and I were actually able to hang out with some friends ourselves, which is actually pretty nice um, that, if the, you know, if the kids are busy, that we can find time to be with our, our friends. So I'm just writing a little bit of journaling about that night and those um, thickers are from American Crafts and um, I've mentioned them before. I've had them for a really long time. I have quite a bit. I am not sure if they're still available, but I will link to them if they are. All right, so at this point, I am going to be using those labels again and I'm adding them right onto my photo and that was kind of the thought that I had. I didn't think that I would put them on every photo because sometimes I feel like that just is a little too much, but um, I definitely do it on several photos. And instead of doing um, a staple there, I decided to just go ahead and add one of those little black stars. Um, I think my camera just cut off there if I remember correctly. So anyway, you can see that I did it in the photo in the top right there with me and my friend M. So I'm doing a little bit of journaling about the dance that my daughter went to was a monster mash dance. And um, you can see the space there in my journaling. I can't remember his name. It totally like I have to ask my daughter because it just slipped my mind. I do know this boy, but it completely slipped my mind. So I'm gonna go, have to go back and, um, and fill that in. So I'm just writing some more journaling on um, that card of my daughter. She actually fell asleep reading, which I, I just really love. They, they're with their, they're on their phones so much, I feel like that it's actually really nice to see them reading and she definitely, she usually goes to bed um, reading, um, but it's just, it's really nice to see them with the book in their hand. It's something that I'm always, definitely always encouraging them to do. So I'm pulling out just a little bit of embellishments. I felt like that photo in particular needed a little something. And for some reason, I really wanted a, um, I wanted a camera because, I don't know, it just kind of felt like, um, that moment like that I was like looking in on her you know uh, so I wanted it to be uh, a camera so I just went ahead and I cut off the edge of that so it was flush with the photo since I wasn't able to really put it on the photo and put, fit it into the pocket you probably saw me try and do that and now I'm looking to fill this last three by four card and I takes me a minute to kind of figure out what I want to do. In fact, I think I, um, 
I do. I pull out this stamp set that I, this was from, let's see, not week in the life, day in the life. This was from day in the life from Allie Edwards. I believe she's had three kits. This was her third kit. And um, I'm pulling out the one that says around here, if I remember correctly. And I'm just going to stamp it on to a scratch piece of paper. Um, I'm Right now, I'm just making sure that it's inking up properly because um, I've never used it before. So I'm just stamping it on a scratch piece of paper and then I'm going to cut it out. So I'm going to use this embellishment a lot like the Boo bubble um the bubble dye that I have already used in my stamp. And by the way, that is a digital file from um, Paisley Press from actually probably 2013, I think is when I bought that, or it could have been 2014, but it's been, it's been a while. I'm sure it's still on the lily pad shop though. So after I was looking at it, I wasn't loving, I didn't love that it matte. I just didn't want the same pattern paper that I had used already. So I went back again and looked at my everyday kit because there's a lot of neutrals. There's a lot of black and whites. And so I just went and grabbed another one of those and then stuck that um, around here on there. And I really do love the option to the let's see, the adhesive that I'm using, I'm able to take stuff off without ripping. And so I like that it's removable. So that's nice that it's not permanent, but it actually does stay in place. And then I'm just lifting up this embellishment because it was looking like it was coming off. So I just wanted to stick that down better. All right, you guys, so this is the spread for this week. Thank you so much for being here and watching. I hope that you're able to get something from this layout. If you do, please give a thumbs up. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. All right, you guys, I will see you next time. Bye.